the bugs are back. No way. Here's an ant nest of what I believe is called a uh, Forlius ants. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, they're very small ants and um, there's a species in this genus that I've been trying to look for. I'm getting a specimen of every nest I find in case one of them is that species. All right, let's just try and get one. Usually it's really difficult because these ants never crawl onto anything that wasn't there before. Oh, but that time it did, Never mind. Thank you. After walking some more, I found several more Forolius ant nests and got one specimen from each. I just looked at the ant specimen I got under the microscope and um, out of the two Forolius species found in Idaho, I believe that this is Prunosis, which is good because that's the one I needed. I'm not 100% sure though, so I'm gonna point mount it and after I do that, I'm gonna look at it under the microscope from different angles and hopefully um, it'll be the species it wants, so. So I just looked at it under the microscope some more, and it is Forlius pruinosis, and it's right there next to Forlius makuki, the similar species, and I was able to tell the difference between the two, so nice, got a new species. Got it. Right, so I just caught this cabbage white butterfly, and I am going to keep it as a specimen, but it's fine because this is a really really common species here in Idaho so killing this one will not affect their population in any way so yeah okay so the canal is filled with water they only do this when it's warm enough it's warm enough so that's very exciting okay look at that this is a hole in the ground you see those moving legs those are spider legs but here's the thing this is not a spider hole this is a wasp hole. All right, so around this time of year, you typically will see a lot of these holes in the ground. Those don't belong to spiders. Those belong to wasps. And the reason there's a spider in there is because the wasp has hunted the spider and it just dragged it back to this hole. And right now it is laying an egg on it. In a bit, that egg is gonna hatch and it will eat that spider. Yes! Just caught this Bombus huntii queen. Um, very, very happy that these things are back. And it is, it is very active. It was flying around really fast and I somehow managed to catch it, put it in this container. Um, yeah, very awesome. Even though this is one of the most common bumblebees in Idaho, it is still one of my favorites because of the awesome orange stripe on its abdomen. You see that really small amount of dirt right there? That is a nest of what I believe is thief ants and it's so cool mainly because of how small they are you see that really small one right there that's an ant well that's my finger compared to it so incredibly small very cool this is an Owyhee harvester at nest you might be wondering why I'm showing a nest of these things after I already did that earlier in the video that's because I wanted to tell you guys about a species very similar to that one that I've been looking for for almost two years. And that species is the Western Harvester Ant. And yes, at one point I did think I had it until I realized I got the identification wrong. And along with that, there are other annoying and dumb mistakes that I made last summer that are creating big goals for me this summer. I don't know about you, but I had a long winter. And what made it worse is realizing all the mistakes I made in the summer that I was gonna have to wait an entire winter for it to get warm out to fix those mistakes. This created a ton of goals for this summer. Now, I have plans to make YouTube videos for every single one of them. So basically what I'm trying to say is I'm gonna post a lot of videos this summer. I started filming one of these videos in August of last year and it's not even close to being done yet. So get ready, cause 2024 of Hymenopter Humes is gonna be a big year. The next day we went to my favorite spot to catch bugs of all time. The reason I love Catherine Albertson's park is because there's always something new there. Got it. See that? That is a male eastern carpenter bee. The way you can tell it's a male 
is that white dot on the face and the size of the eyes. Males can't sting, but since this is a carpenter bee, it can bite. And as demonstrated by the video I took earlier, you can see exactly how hard it can bite. Okay, I was just walking the canal road and I saw this bumblebee fly into this hole in the ground. Before that, it was getting really aggressive as if it was defending it. So I'm going to wait till it comes out. No way. That was so cool. So that hole in the ground, I saw it and there was a bumblebee flying next to it. And I noticed that the bumblebee was getting really aggressive. It acted like it was defending something. I noticed that the hole was there. I was like, no way. So I backed away. The bee felt comfortable and the bee went right to the hole. After a while, the bee came out and flew away and then got aggressive again. I've never seen a bumblebee nest in person before. So if the queen stays at that hole and that becomes a bumblebee nest, that's gonna be a first for me because I've never seen a bumblebee nest in person before and I would really like to. Man, that was so cool. I really hope that stays there. There you go, the bugs are back and I am very happy about that. There are a lot of species that I plan on catching this year and documenting and posting on YouTube for you guys. So it is gonna be a very exciting summer for me and hopefully for you too. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.